encourage government to get bigger, that's one way to do it. Make college really expensive and then forgive the debt if you work for Uncle Sam. All right, let's get to the details of what really they're asking for here. Uh, Kelly Mullen, a million uh, student march national event organizer. Kelly, good to have you. Keely, I'm sorry. Is it Keely or Kelly? That's okay. Right. It's Keely. I apologize. Uh, so what do you totally want fine. here? What do you want? Um, well, so the movement, the Million Student March, um, is a movement for a more um, equitable and fair system of education as opposed to um, the really corporate model that we have right now. Uh, so the three core demands of the National Day of Action are free public college, a cancellation of student debt, and a $15 an hour minimum wage um, for people who work on the campus. And how's that going to be paid? Um, great question. Uh, I mean, you know, so... I'm not sure if you're talking on like a national level or at particular schools. I can sort of touch on both. Um, at well, my if you university, wanted all that stuff, university, someone asked to pick up the tab. Who would that be? Um, the one percent of people in society that are hoarding um, the wealth and really sort of causing um, a catastrophe that students are facing. I mean, we have a, a relationship right now where one percent of the population owns more wealth than the ninety-nine percent combined. All right. So um, the one percent, Kelly, if the one percent mm -hmm. just had their taxes raised a few years ago, back to almost forty percent, then to pay for the health care yeah. world, they had them raised another few percentage points. Then they had their deductions right. limited to raise another couple points where depending on the state or locality they're, they're, they're pushing over about 50 percent in taxes how much higher do you think how mm -hmm. much more do you think they should pay um, I think enough until we have a system where not one in two American families are uh, threatened with poverty so where I do they that, go um, let's say if you tax them they're smart folks these people this, this these one percent hoarders right so if they leave here yeah. then who's going to pay for all this stuff that you want if they leave the country oh um, I mean there's always gonna be a, a 1% in the US uh, the US is like the bastion of um, of capitalism and its success and I think Do you that, think the 1% um, can pay for all of this absolutely uh, 85 people in the world hold more wealth than half of the global population no, wait a minute. I mean, no, wait, wait, are, massive... we are we talking about 85 billionaires or are you extending this to the 1% or whomever who earn a little bit north of two hundred fifty thousand dollars. At what level, Keely, do you start saying you got to pay a hell of a lot more than you're paying now in taxes? I mean, I think people earning, um, certainly people earning over a million dollars a year, uh, should be contributing to How the much? wellness of society. If it's fifty percent now, let's say it's around fifty percent with taxes. We used to have a top rate of ninety percent. You think we should get back to that? Um, I mean, I think that eventually we will get back to that. I think and eventually. And you're okay with that? Um, are, are some of your friends okay with that? Do some of them want to be successful themselves, and they'd be happy when they get to a level, maybe over two hundred thousand, two hundred fifty thousand, they start paying ninety percent of taxes on that. They'll be happy with that. Abs absolutely. I mean, I think that. Keely, people, come on! You're um, talking to me here. Your friends are going to be happy getting to a point in their career when they can look outside and say, "Finally, I'm able to pay ninety percent in taxes." Obviously, um, you know, people in, in your position, you know, don't want to pay 90 percent uh, um, in I taxes. I dare say, unless you're high as a kite, you <laughs> wouldn't volunteer to pay 90 percent, right? I mean, unless you really did see a considerable bang yeah. for the buck and it was worth it, right? But a lot of the times that you realize it's not worth it, and given some of the track records we've seen with government, mm -hmm. it doesn't always work, right? Yeah, I mean, absolutely. But the reality is, is we have to look at at the injustice of the system as it exists right now. Then do, I mean, you, do you think you know, maybe it, if everyone paid a little bit more for this, would you pay a little bit more for this besides the rich that to pay for that it's worth it? That you think these are, are but good people goals? People already are paying for no, this. No, no, yeah. I, I asked but, it but differently. Working... I asked you, would you, Keely, and your friends, and your mom, and your dad, and your family, would mm -hmm. they happily pay more yeah. to provide all of these benefits you just outlined? Of course, and we already are. Um, no, I mean, no, 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 no. You I'm just graduating. said to pay for some of the things you wanted, the rich should pay significantly more than they're paying right now. Now you're telling me... Yeah, that's exactly you... what I'm saying. Okay, Everyone's okay, already but, paying. Uh, well, they're not. I mean, now you're saying for the added, these added benefits that you want, and they're fine benefits, don't get me wrong. Mm -hmm. you, you think mm -hmm. your friends, their parents, your parents, your family would be happy to pay a little bit more to provide these guarantees and benefits. 
I come from an incredibly working class family, um, and my family is already on numerous forms of, of government assistance and is basically scraping by, you know, in order to get me through college. Um, I, I live in a world and I, and I see a system around me where there's a population that's doing nothing to contribute um, to the progression of society. Education is really the only way that we have innovation, that we Keely, have, I'm sure um, you're, you know. You sound very smart. You know what's going on. You mentioned what's going on in the world. You're probably aware of what's happening in Greece yeah. and these other countries that provided mm -hmm. all these benefits and then some, many of which you outlined very nicely here for us today. And they're going broke yeah. and they're out of money. And they're, they're, they, they don't know what to do. And their people are riding on the streets because they can't believe the money's gone. And the benefits and the promises yeah. are gone. Right. What do you think? Um, I mean, yeah, there's, a, there's a, like a global catastrophe right now of um, complete like defunding of social services. And because they ran of, out of money. Of public, you of, know what happened, Keely? They just ran out of money. Yeah. Right? I understand, but there is a 1% in Greece, there's a 1% in the United States, there's a 1%, there's a ruling class in absolutely every... I don't doubt there um, is, Kelly. Know. I don't doubt there is, but obviously yeah, they've so been these, trying to tap them to get money from and they realize either they don't have the money or they hid from the money, or they're gone. They're gone. Yeah. And now these countries yeah, so are going those bust. those people need to be accountable. All right, fine, the, but they're people, smart and they're, they're, they're scaring the all over the globe. So now, now even yeah, if you yeah, they are, it, and that's a problem. All right, but they, they've done studies on this kid. I don't want to get boring here. But even if you were to take the one percent mm -hmm. and take all of their money, tax it a hundred percent. Do you know that couldn't keep Medicare, just Medicare, in this country going for three years? Did you know that? If we're to a point where the rich is paying a hundred percent on their taxes, then we're on the road to socialism, and we're going to have a completely different um, type of public infrastructure. No, no. What I told uh, you, what I told you is that. Even if you took all the money from the rich who you say are getting away with murder, if you took it all away, mm -hmm. it wouldn't support one entitlement in this country for three years. I don't, I, yeah, I don't believe that. Okay. Um, yeah, I, I'm sorry, I just don't, that sounds completely ludicrous to me. Do you I know mean, that how are... much it will cost to ma mandate a $15 minimum wage across the country, to have every one student le loan debt paid off, to pay for public college, for everyone, How much? you have a rough idea on the cost of just the educational part, on the student loan part and the public well, college. Yeah, part. absolutely. One one point one point three trillion dollars in student debt. That's just a beginning, um, and then billions you know and billions of dollars. You know how much you get fully in... taxing the one percent, one hundred percent. Um, I don't know. Is it close to the number, the it's about sixteen trillion, trillion dollars it's about that trillion. we spent to bail out no, the no, banks? No, hear what I'm saying because I just want this to be a math reminder. One trillion, yeah. which would barely keep Medicare going for three years. That's one area. Even mm -hmm. if we repositioned it to go into this area that you want, we don't have enough mm -hmm. to do it. So you're going to have to find other means of getting money, right? Yeah, I mean, I think that that's a starting point. I mean, I think that all of these things uh, require really comprehensive programs. No doubt, no um, doubt. But do you yeah, fear, no Kila, I guess it, what I'm asking I think you... That, yeah. I, I, mm -hmm. You're passionate about this, and I admire that passion and your involvement in this, but I think you have to step yeah. back and look at the numbers that could be involved here, because they're going to be huge. Right. And a lot of those, the college behind you and institutions behind you, knowing that student debt is taken care of, it's forgiven and done, do you think mm -hmm. any of those guys, any of those administrators, any of those schools aren't going to leap at the opportunity to gouge even more, to raise tuitions even more, to raise room and board even more? Well, I mean, ideally, if we have a big enough mass movement of people in the streets, um, we can actually prevent things like that from happening. I mean, that's one of the purposes. All right. We'll see. We just saw, sorry, I apologize for that, but history suggests that doesn't always happen. Uh, Dagan, Connell, what do you think? I think the math doesn't add up, and I think that as a broad message, it's like more for nothing.